Hey guys, it's Greg here. Just got in my Angus Trim 12.1 Heavy. Uh, the reason it's called Heavy, it's uh, I think it's eight ounces heavier than uh, what the model is supposed to be. But if it were any lighter, um, I don't know if I'd like it. Uh, so we're gonna do a little mini review and a little bit of cutting. Um, we'll just go from there. Uh, the first thing I noticed about this, uh, when I pulled it out of the package, was the size of this pommel. This thing's about the size of a hockey puck. Uh, granted, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the thing's huge. And I was like, man, that thing's beefy. But when I pick it up, I can kind of see why. Uh, it's already got a lot of, of uh, blade presence. Um, if that pommel were any smaller, it would it would feel really blade heavy. Um, so uh, what we're going to do now is uh, cut some bottles. And I'm going to go ahead and add the disclaimer that. I've never cut with this. It's a different feel to it than uh, my other swords. So, if I do a flub cut on the first couple, feel free to laugh. Well, all right, so, uh, initial impressions. This thing is awesome. Um, I did notice, however, that while I was cutting, that the old style of my cutting, I usually uh, let the the handle of the sword kind of glide uh, back and forth. Um, with this larger pommel, it's kind of catching me on the bottom of the uh, wrist. And actually, I think when I reassembled it, uh, I don't know. But yeah, um... So yeah, uh... I'm gonna have to, uh... Get used to that, um... Just gonna have to change up my grip a little bit. Nothing huge, but this is, uh... This is quite a sword, um... Now granted, it has its flaws. I did a review on the review side of, you know, the little tidbits, but... So far, the pros outweigh the cons. Um, the cons only being uh, cosmetic. Uh, you know, there's a little gap in the uh, the, the uh, leather up there. Um, the triple folders don't end in an, uh, an exact straight line. There's maybe a two millimeter variation in the height. Um, I love the black and scales though. These actually came out better than I thought they would. Um, and then the lines on them that separate the folders are really nice. Uh, really straight, very, very uniform going all the way down. Um, so yeah, this was a uh, munitions grade um, atrium. Um, so this is not by any means a benchmark of his normal quality. Um, one last thing to note is the handle on this puppy. Oh, I tell you, if if all of my swords had 
had this uh, full of a grip on it, I'd be in heaven. Uh, just looking at the pictures uh, prior to ordering it, I thought, ah, the handle might be a little small, um, but then I didn't realize exactly how massive this blade was. So, uh, proportionally, the handle looks small, but in hand, the handle is perfect. Oh, this... Sorry, I'm about to get a little crazy. Um, anyway, so that concludes this somewhat video review. Um, I'm going to try this week's sword trick now, so I'm just going to check and make sure I have time and get the cutting.